I am Les Crowder, I'm a top bar beekeeper. So we're also seeing a big demographic change in urban to rural to urban. A lot of beekeepers used to be rural people and now more and more beekeepers are suburban and urban beekeepers. And that I think is great because it's making them aware of the use of insecticides in their own yards and then even going to their neighbors and saying, you know, we'd really appreciate it if you would look into soap to get rid of aphids or something that isn't toxic. And there are plenty of alternatives. We're really smart and we have dedicated ourselves to looking for ways to kill insects with chemistry. We could find ways to kill insects that we don't want on our crops that were more natural and we could use other insects for instance. We, we, we need to begin our, our a journey towards how do we enliven the earth and benefit from the life on the earth instead of how do we pare away everything but almond trees or tomatoes or whatever we're growing and just want nothing but tomatoes and realize that we need all those creatures in there that help tomatoes grow or help almond trees grow. And there are predators, for instance, of the tomato hornworm. There's a, a little wasp that lays an egg in the tomato hornworm and it kills and eats the tomato hornworm. So we could be raising those. We could come up with non-toxic ways to deal with the pests of our agricultural crops. And then we wouldn't be poisoning the bees or the birds or the fish or the frogs or ourselves.